A few weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me your questions about how to rank better on YouTube, how to get started, how to get discovered, how to grow, even if you are a small channel and you're not getting a lot of watch time and views yet. Well, I took your questions, I went straight to the source, and I have a YouTube employee here to tell you guys exactly how it's done. You're in for a real treat. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to Video Creators. This channel is all about helping you guys grow a YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. And you can't reach people and change their lives if your channel's just stuck, it's flat, it's not growing. I know a lot of you guys feel frustrated, you feel discouraged, so today let's change all that, give you guys exactly what you need in order to take your channel to the next level. Now if you're not already familiar with Tom, he runs the YouTube channel Creator Insider, which is a great channel for getting all the sneak peeks behind behind the scenes looks at what is happening on YouTube as a platform. I highly recommend you go subscribe and check it out. But in the meantime, let's dig into your questions. How do we smaller channels rank our videos if we don't get watch time? I put keywords in my tags, titles, and descriptions, but no one is finding me. How? One approach is to focus on content that isn't uh, well served by other channels today. So if you're making videos in a very crowded category, it could be difficult to outperform the competition. If I were to start a brand new channel today and I said, oh, I'm gonna make a bunch of videos about reviewing like phones, you know, that's probably a pretty crowded category. Like I could do it, I just have to make sure my videos are amazing and, and really provide a much different perspective than what's currently out there. Then once you kind of find that niche where you can establish yourself, then you can always expand from there. So it's always better to start more narrow and then kind of go broader. Sharing your videos with friends and acquaintances in, in relevant forums um, across the internet, uh, not just on YouTube, is very helpful. This topic of helping small channels grow and get discovered is, is a very high priority for us here at YouTube. And I've actually been in many meetings with folks from the search and discovery team and in the creator team trying to think about how do we make sure that uh, if a creator has a lot of, of talent and is really working hard and producing great content, how do we make sure that they're getting as many chances to be discovered as possible? So um, just wanted to let you guys know that this is a, um, a hot topic and something we're, we're thinking a lot about. Our chick Ned Carney asked a really good question. How to properly write tags and metadata in general in 2018 to rank in search? We recommend prioritizing your titles and thumbnails followed by your descriptions. So that's sort of the order of priority. Now tags can be useful to help us handle misspellings, but beyond that, they're not um, very important relative to the importance of titles and thumbnails. You guys are asking some great questions. This next one comes from Tommy Knows Everything, except for he probably doesn't know everything or else he wouldn't be asking this question. Is it actually better to upload as frequent as possible? Would uploading every day be more beneficial than uploading three times a week? Or does it depend on the niche? Well, it depends really on the audience uh, and, what, and what content uh, they want and what you're creating. So all else equal, every video you create is a chance for you to connect with your audience. It's a chance for you to be discovered. But you also don't want to waste a lot of effort creating content that your audience isn't interested in. So just lots of videos on its own is kind of um, not going to be sufficient. And there's always going to be this trade-off between the quality of the video and the quantity of the videos that you upload. And so you have to find the right balance that works for you and for your audience. Um, you know, even if your audience would love a daily video, if trying to keep up with that reduces the quality of your videos, um, it's not obvious that you should do that. Um, you'd probably be better off producing good quality videos, maybe on a, a weekly basis, let's say, than um, you know, low, low quality videos every day. The other thing to do is experiment. You can kind of get feedback in the comments and monitor your YouTube analytic metrics to see whether more videos are generating enough value with your audience uh, and to, to justify making them all the time. So you might wanna say spend a week or two maybe uploading more frequently and then see if those two weeks of performance differed very greatly from 
um, the previous period where maybe you were just doing it weekly. This next question is one that I know a lot of you guys think about when you're considering how to rank your videos and search, and it's from 24K Vines who asked this. Is it okay if we don't make 10 minute long videos? People say YouTube algorithm doesn't promote short videos. We looked into this and we were able to find many, many examples where very short videos, even less than two minutes, got many views. Many of them, the majority was from watch next and search. So having a short video uh, doesn't at all preclude you from getting recommended. Uh, what really matters is do viewers love these videos? You know, if you have a long video and no one likes it, it's not going to get recommended. Uh, but if you have a short video and people love it and they watch most or all of it and they like it and they share it and they comment and you know our signals seem to suggest that it's a good quality video and maybe they they respond to customer satisfaction surveys that indicate this video is really working for people then we'll, we'll recommend it you know even if it's a minute long does live streaming reduce channel authority since they get less views than normal videos also will it be bad algorithm wise to put the live streams as unlisted then placing them on a playlist if you produce one video that isn't uh, engaging that's not going to make the algorithm treat your channel differently. What you should really focus on is what your audience wants. And if live streaming is driving value for them, then you should do it. The unlisted status shouldn't affect the discovery of live streams in any significant way. If your audience likes live streaming entirely or some live streaming, just make the viewers happy and everything will be fine. Another great question from Coop We You on Twitter asked, do likes on YouTube work like upvotes on Reddit posts and the end result is the post slash video being shown to more people in recommendations? Likes are one of many signals that our recommendations uh, systems consider because they help us understand how much the audience is enjoying the video. It's not the only signal, but it is one of the many signals that we look at. Tom actually asked me for my best advice for growing from one to 1,000 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers and what I'm working on now to get to 1 million subscribers. So if you wanna hear my tips as well as my advice for Tom, a YouTube employee, about how he can grow his channel faster, click the interactive card that pops up around here, link in the description below, and go check out that video over on his channel. If this is your first time here at Video Creators, we'd love to have you subscribe every Monday Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, we have new videos just to help you grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. Tom, thank you so much for joining me and serving creators. Thank you so much, Tim, for the opportunity to um, be helpful. And thanks also for your advice for our channel uh, on the other half of the collab on Creator Insider. Keep it real. Now, if you're not already familiar with Tom, now, if you're not already familiar with Tom, now, if you're not already familiar with now, if you're not already, <laughs> Julia, what's going on? Now, if you're not already, 